This Lamb County Leader News Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by Amherst Independent School District. Our vision is to provide the students and or citizens, young or old, in our community with the basic knowledge and essential attitudes, skills, and values which deem necessary to function in the ever-changing social, economic, technological, and political environment that we call the United States of America. Good luck on Friday, Bulldogs. Derek here from the Lamb County Leader News, and this week our Friday Night Football Spotlight brings us back out to Amherst with the Bulldogs and head coach Daniel Hinojosa. Coach, how you doing? Well, thank you. Hey, Coach, uh, congrats on the win last week. You know, 40 it was another over Cotton City. Just kind of talking about the way you guys played defensively. Uh, you know, anytime you get a shutout, it's a, it's a good day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just uh, we just played assignment football, which is, you know, what we do. Uh, we just try to do the little things right and, and do our assignment, do our job, and, and Go get after people, and we just happen to do a good job of it. Uh, offensively, you know, we just try to get Kevin into a groove, run the ball, and then uh, just continually run it. Just make sure you know we were executing. I think just that's a big thing is execution. Uh, if we execute, you know, we, we can play with anyone. So we, our main focus was, hey, let's just execute. Let's make sure we do the little things right and see what we can you know what we can accomplish and and as you can tell you know it was a it was a good ending for us absolutely and uh, just like i was talking with the guys this week you guys got uh what harold at their place uh this championship on the line you guys are not enough heading to that one um what do you feel you guys have to do defensively with those guys uh, uh we just have to execute you know contain uh prevent the big play they get a lot of plays that are hustle plays you know uh they play extremely hard. So, number one, we got to match their intensity. Number two, we got to execute. And uh, number three, we just got to tackle. I mean, for us, that's going to be the the difference in the ball game. Is is you know how how we play. Uh, we don't like to be dictated to, and uh, neither do they. So it's going to be whichever team imposes their will. But I think with us playing the way we're playing, and and they're playing pretty well right now as well. Uh, we just need to make sure that, that we come out and we play our style of football and, you know, expect a, expect a tough game. And, you know, for us, it, it boils down to let's play our way, let's have some fun, and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. I mean, it's two quality teams going at it, so uh, expect nothing less than, than a good game. And, you know, hopefully we just – come out and play and play to our potential. This Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by Mike Campbell Electric. Pole line construction and maintenance and ag and industrial electric. They proudly support the Amherst Bulldogs. Here with Amherst Senior Center, Yahir Garcia. Yahir, how you doing? Pretty good, man. How about you? Good. Hey man, you guys, uh, you know, shut out uh, top ten last week, forty eight to nothing uh, offensively. Can right, give me a thoughts on what you guys executed? Uh, uh, we just we went out there and played our our type of football. You know, we just went out there, played our game, executed our plays. That's about it. Okay. And uh, just like I was talking with Hector a minute ago, you guys got Winter coming up on Friday at their place for the district championship. Uh, what do you feel you guys have to do offensively in order to be prepared for yourself Friday? Actually, like we had to have a good week of practice, you know, get our get our heads ready, you know. We got to execute, take care of what we need to. This Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by Pivot Parts and Service and Miller's Automotive and Transmission. They are proud to support their Bulldogs. Good luck on Friday. Go get them, Bulldogs. There with Everett senior linebacker Hector Perez. Hector, how you doing? Good, how about you? Good. Hey man, you guys had a uh, solid win last week against Cotton Center. You guys shut them out 48 to nothing. How many thoughts on what you could play last week? I mean, we just came out good, ready to play. Just kept executing how we've been doing in the past weeks. 
And of course, this week you guys got the big game for the district championship with Wood Harrell uh, at their place. Uh, what do you feel you guys have to do in order to get a W on Friday? I mean, we just got to keep playing. We just need to execute and do everything coach tells us and be physical. We got to hit them. And then offensively, uh, you know, what will be some keys for you guys in order for you guys to be uh, some players on Friday? Uh, just execute. I mean, we, we have to play our, our our style. We can't get behind the chains. We can't sit there and, and hope that things go well. I mean, we do a, a great job of just, you know, hey, let's run it. You know, let's let's pass here. Let's do this. And our kids do a, a very good job of understanding what it is we do. Uh, you know, other teams are way more explosive than we are in terms of Hey, they can go down and score in two plays. We're more methodical because of the way that, that we do play, which is, you know, power football. We like to line up and run at you, use our, you know, use our weight loop to our advantage. I mean, we spend, you know, eternity in there. So us being able to, to just go out and, you know, line up and run at people and use our strength, you know, uh, I think to us, that's that's our biggest advantage. If we get an track meet with a lot of teams, you know, we just can't compete because of their their overall team speed. But at the same juncture, you know, if they get into a knockdown drag out with us, you know, like I said, we are strong and, and our kids have a strong belief in the weight room. So, you know, it's gonna boil down to, you know, our strength and, and power against their speed and I think that makes for an interesting game. So hopefully we can, you know, we can do what we need to do and, and you know, just go from there. I mean, we're expecting a competitive game. We're expecting four quarters. Uh, so to us, it, it's very important execution and just stay into the game plan and and not panicking, kind of like what we did against Blink Earth. Okay. All right, Coach, I appreciate your time. Again, the Bulldogs will be at Winter Hill on Friday and take on the Panthers at 7.30 p.m.